Using inheritance, you can avoid redundant code and also you can extend the functionality of a base class. So let's make a super class for a user and then let's make an admin user that would inherit from the user class. Here I have the template ready for the project and I'm just going to make a class for user. Basically the user has certain attributes. Things like first name, last name, or email address. And this is true for all the users. So this is going to be the super class. And I'm just going to make the constructor here. And I'm going to set the instance variables to what user passes in. Now I'm going to make another class and I'm call that admin user. And this admin user is going to inherit using this less than sign, inherit from the user class. And since we're inheriting from the user class, we have access to all of these attributes, first name, last name, email. But admin user is special and it has administrative privileges. So because of that, we will define a variable that would hold that property. And the constructor for the admin user is very similar to the user, except it will have this variable is admin added to it. And in order to initialize the attributes as related to the super class, we use the keyword super. It's the equivalent of writing this line of code. And we don't want to repeat ourselves, so let's just use super. And using super, we can pass in the parameters. Here are the parameters that we pass in that's related to the super class. Now we define the property instance variable that's related to admin only. And you can just simply make it like this. In the main file, let's just make an instance of the admin user and let's see if it works. All I did here, I just put some put statements to print out the first name, last name, email, and the is admin property. So let's run that and see what we get. And it just works just fine. So that's how you can use inheritance to either avoid redundant code or inherit the common features of a particular class.